Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a bit of a reorganization again of my single shadows. I'm not going to take my whole collection today. I'm only going to go through these palettes right here and mainly this palette right here. The reason is because I recently got these beautiful palettes into the mail. I ordered some new Mary Mary palettes. These are from an independently owned brand um, over on Instagram. I will have her brand name and website on the screen so you can see. Uh, she does these beautiful magnetic palettes and I'm so excited. I haven't even taken off the protective layer. Let me do that quickly. That's better. Like so. There is also one on the back but I'm going to tackle that later. At least now you can see the eyeshadows better but that is the first part. This basically is for circle shadows and then I also have one here that is for my clone eyeshadows and this one looks like this. This one holds 30 shades I believe and I believe this one holds 24 and that is actually perfect if I look at my eyeshadow palette that I made not too long ago with all of my favorite singles um, which looks like this. I haven't been using these as much as I wanted to so I want to move this over to these clear acrylic palettes so that I can see what's in them and hopefully reach for them more. So my goal today is to move all of these over into those other palettes and also reorganization and put some other shades into this palette instead. But before I jump into any of that, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So here we have this palette. I'm going to start, like I said, with the circle shadows. I have not taken over the back pattern as well, and it's such a beautiful palette. So I'm going to leave that here, and I'm going to start moving over some of the shades. So how do I want to organize this? I think I want to start with... I want to start with mattes again, and then move into shimmer shades. I think I do. So I'm going to start with the mattes, and I'm just going to go in kind of like color order. Something like that. Uh, and then for second row. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this shade here, which is Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek, does not fit into the palette. That's very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there then. And move on to the next shade. Okay, so that means that this one I can't have in this palette, which is fine. Um, that's the pricing, but that's the pan's fault, not the palette's fault. Um, so next up, I'm gonna, that's all the mattes by the way. Uh, hopefully you can see that right there. I'm gonna move on to the iridescent shades next, I believe. And it's perfect because I have three iridescent shades, or like these pure iridescent shades. So I'm gonna put them next. And there we have those. So, I think because I have one more space here, before I put over all the eyeshadows and organize them by color, I'm gonna go ahead and find one more shade that I want to add in here, and we're gonna move on from there. And for me, it's an easy choice. It's actually not iridescent, which means that I mess up the rose, but I don't really mind. Uh, this shade here is Ice Blink from Shine by SD and Seeking Shift. It's a beautiful, kind of transformative shade, and I feel like that's going to work perfectly in this palette. It's also one that I'm going to be able to reach for a lot, so I'm going to pull that one in. Next up, let's move on to organizing the rest of these shades. Perfect. And there we have that palette. Uh, I love how that looks. Um, obviously this one couldn't fit in, which is a bit of a shame, but I'm fine with that. Um, and I'm really happy with how this palette looks. I think I'm going to reach for these shades more now when I can visibly see what's in them, or what's in the palette. Um, and it's going to be like an easy choice for me to reach for them. And there we have the top layer. Uh, so that is the first palette finalized. Next up we have the Cleona palette and again I'm gonna remove the if you can hear me, I'm gonna remove the protective layer and move on to organizing this palette too. Perfect. 
perfect. And then we have the second palette, which is my Cleona palette. I'm gonna go ahead and organize this one too. So we have my Cleona shapes right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. And I think, again, I'm gonna start with the iridescent shades on the top. Okay, there's the iridescent shades. What do I want to add on the last space there? Um, <laughs> maybe opulent. Yeah, that works fine. Then let's move on to the second row. I also just remember that I do have this shade here called Nielo that also needs to be in palette, but I have had that in a different project, which is why it wasn't in this palette. But let's move on to the next row, which I think I'm gonna do pinkier tones. So let me start pulling out all the pinkier tones. That's the pink row. Next, I'm gonna do more of a neutral peach row, I believe. Maybe moving into some more orangey shades. I think something like that. Okay, that is that row. Um, then I think I'm gonna go ahead and do more like these neutral kind of bronzy greenish tones and then the more cool tones at the bottom. Not sure what I want as the last shade for this row. Probably, actually mural might go best there I think. There we go. And then lastly, we're going to do these kind of more colorful, purpley and green tones at the very bottom. Okay, so I'm going to put Nielo in that corner, but since I'm having a project, I'm going to wait putting it in until I'm done talking about it in that update. So I'm going to put it there. And there we have that second palette done, which looks like this, obviously with this shade supposed to be in here, but I'm holding off with that shade again since I have updated that project. So here we have my new two uh, like perfect kind of eyeshadow palettes. Um, we have this one, which is my circle shades, and then the, this one here, which is my Clona shades. And I do think I'm gonna reach for these way more when I can actually see what's in the palettes. So let me put the lids back on and then we can move on to the next part of this video after these two are done. So yeah, there we have those two and I'm really, really happy. I really recommend these palettes. Just review on the palettes as well. They're super sturdy. They feel quite like weighted, which is nice. The magnets are super strong. So I don't think like this is going to slide off by mistake. And yeah, they work perfect. They work on the most shades. The only one that doesn't is the... Makeup Geek ones, but that's the only ones that I've encountered. I have Sydney Grace, Terra Moons, Glam Shop. What else do I have in here? Uh, Shine by SD, The Pastel Roses. Yeah, I think that's my majority of these shades, but they all fit perfectly. And obviously with these the Cleona shades, they fit perfectly too. I've also tried putting in the Natasha Nona midi size palettes to here and they work too. They do have a little bit of like wiggle room but they do fit in these two so I do really recommend these palettes. They're super well made, came really quickly so if you haven't checked these out please do if you're looking for something like this. So since we now have this palette through here I was hoping to reorganize some of my shades. So we have this magnet here which is my iridescent shades moving into some of my Molly shades and I want to reorganize this. I'm first off going to move these iridescent shades because I no longer have that um, 
shade from the Shine SD and Sigma Shoes collab, Ice Blink. I moved that over, so I have one more space in here now. So I'm going to go ahead and move these so that I can optimize the palette better. Perfect. So that we have those iridescent shades. Next up, we do have these mauve shades, which is something that I do want to move over. So I'm going to take these out of the palette and just move them out. You can't really see where I'm putting them, but I'm putting them in color order up in the corner so that I can start moving these into the palettes when I'm ready. So that also means that I'm going to have purely an iridescent palette now, which is what I ultimately wanted. So I'm really, really happy with that. And this one can go away. So then we do also have these two palettes right here, which are like more neutral palettes. And I was thinking about both of them can't fit in here, plus all of the mauve shades. So I was thinking about what I want to fit in. Let me move these mauve tones down and you can see a bit better. Okay, hopefully you can see them a bit better there, but I was thinking what to do. So I'm actually thinking about keeping this palette here the same, the way it is now, because I feel like this one works better as like a standalone palette. I feel like these tones work better with the mauve tones. There's are definitely more kind of peachier, but I feel like they work better. So I'm going to keep this palette the same. I also really like how this one looks for like a neutral, more yellowy undertone palette. So this one's going to say... And then this palette plus this mauve tone palette, I'm going to move into this here. And I do believe I'm going to start with the... Hmm, I'm going to start with this palette here and go into the more softer. And I think I'm actually going to start with this peachy shade in the corner, which is that one that I couldn't fit into the circle, like the new magnetic palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that first and then move in to the rest of these shades. So there we have that palette. Um, my video or my camera stopped recording, I'm not sure when, but um, I've moved all of those over um, and that is this palette right here. I am missing one shade here, which is in my uh, magnetic palette. I'm actually going to get that and so I can put it back in this, this into this palette. It was this shade right here, which is one that I was panning earlier, but as you can see, I had pan on that shade, so that one is also done. Um, that means that this palette is now organized. I really like it. I have some space down here, but I'm happy with leaving it like this. Um, and then this is now going to be my two kind of more neutral palettes um, that I have and I think that works way better. It also means that I have a completely empty palette if I want to make BYO piece and things like that which is good which is something that I haven't had in a while at least not of that size. We have my iridescent palette which is now purely iridescent which I'm really happy with. It looks like this. And then of course we have my new like everyday kind of favorite shadow palettes. If you want to know what's in here exactly, you can check out my video that I did last year where I actually selected the shades for these palettes. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with these and I'm sure that I will reach for these shades way more now when I can actually see what's in here. So I'm really pleased with that. So there you guys, it's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this little quick uh, organization and kind of small review of those palettes. Obviously I haven't reached over them like for a long time. I got them last week so I haven't had them in my collection for a long time. But so far I'm really really pleased and I will definitely think about ordering more. They have more sizes than that as well. I also for example have these quads. So again I haven't taken off the protective plastic but I have some shades that I'm panning in here. Um, and then I also have this one which is square from Cleona Pants or like I said I also have some um, Naya Tasha and Mini palettes fit in there too. That's what I have in this palette here. Um, so, you know, I have these two too, and they have loads of sizes, like I said, and I'm really, really happy with these palettes. So, I hope you guys are having a lovely day wherever you guys are, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.